Welcome to Sorted Food and welcome to Fridge Camp. Sometimes we like to copy all of the formats that are on television at once. This is Step Up to the Plate. One of two trained chefs and one of three normal guys will be picked at random to work together to create an attention-grabbing, head-turning dish. There will be prerequisites. Time limits. One minute remaining. Mystery ingredients. All tied together by a shameless internet-y challenge. But who will it be today? James, go on then, mate. You're nearest it. Pick a chef. Both chefs. Both sh Does that mean we have a day off? There's always a twist. Both normals. Both normals. So it's all in. Teamwork, isn't it? Oh. This is so cryptic. Go straight to the plate. <laughs> straight to the plate. Right, ready? Two, one. We're up. We're good. James, you I am literally... And I've got a hand. Like, oh, yeah. Ben! So <laughs> Hashtag wedding of the year. Today you will all be taking part in the step up to the plate challenge. Your task is bigger than ever before as you will be creating a wedding cake no. for the no. royal couple, no. Prince Harry no. and Meghan Markle. You must research their favourite flavours and incorporate these into the cake. It has to look good and taste even better. You have a whopping four and a half hours oh, from once you've selected your ingredients. That is actually not four very long. Four and a half hours? That's not long for I a mean, wedding cake. I made your wedding cake and it took me eight and a half. No. The overworked and underpaid production team have prepared an abundance of inspirational produce and tools to aid our precious YouTube stars in this really hard challenge. Can I, can I start off by saying this is not our strong suit. I think we should identify our weaknesses before we move forward. We can't decorate cakes. No. So I like the look of the fruit because you can chop stuff up and dump it on the top and it still looks quite good. So tradition says the top tier should always be a fruit cake. Given who we're making for it, I think we should have a carrot top. <laughs> You've got to have tiers, it's a wedding cake. A different cake on a different tier. Because one could be a no-bake cheesecake, which just needs chilling. Oh, sorry. That makes more sense. And one can be a sponge. I like the idea of one layer being a cheesecake. Banana. When Megan and made the tease announcement of them getting together, yep. they did, she did it with bananas, didn't she? Prince Harry and Megan want wedding cake made from banana. And like a banoffee cheesecake. I mean, what, what about American and British oh, coming smart. together? Well, a Victoria sponge is the same as a pound cake, really, isn't it? So. We're nearly three minutes into this video and there's been no cooking, so let's just say some decisions were made. Bottom layer of cake is a nice cross between a classic Victoria sponge and the American pound cake. Basically, four ounces of butter, sugar and flour with two eggs, except I've times it by three for each layer. A cake that size with diameter that size needs to go in an oven about 170, 180 degrees Celsius until it's golden, cooked through, and the skewer comes out clean. So ever's has started on the cake. We sent James out shopping. Hello, mate. I was phoning because we need biscuits. Barry has drawn this diagram, and now I'm going to explain our logic behind it. So our base layer, the foundation is the royal family. It's a Victoria sponge cake with plum jam. We're going to give it a biscuit crumb and put fresh fruits on the top. Our middle layer is a banoffee cheesecake with honeycomb shards. Our top is a carrot top um, with apple roses on the top. I went for McVitie's. Right, so far I have made a delicious plum jam with plums, a bit of sugar and lemon juice. Then cook that for about 15 minutes to turn into a lovely little mush. Lol. I've been given carrot peeling and chopping for a reason, and I know it. The carrot top is going to be a classic carrot cake, lots of grated carrot, with brown sugar, oil, egg, flour, bicarb, but we're going in with two lots of dried fruit, softened in orange juice, mixed spice, and to make it extra gingery, grated root ginger. The boy's next task is to... Sorry, I think that's my Amazon delivery. My plan from the start was to get Ben to do the cakes. So what I've done is do a cheesecake. Made a base with digestive biscuits and butter. And I have made the filling, which is cheese, cream cheese, uh, double cream, maple syrup, icing sugar, and chocolate chips. Yummy. And I've had Barry do the banana stuff. Um, I'm having some trouble. 
If you've gone down to peel a banana. Well, I don't eat bananas. I never open bananas. And I'm suddenly going, this doesn't feel right. Hey everyone, I'm teaching Barry how to peel a banana. Frying bananas in butter still doesn't do it for you, banana-wise. I can tell by your face. You're like this. Fried bananas in brown butter and some dolce de leche and a splash of rum. And light it. Whoa! Gets me every time! Maybe take the silicon spoon out. Ah! Spoon! <laughs> Honestly, I forgot it was going to happen. <laughs> What are my eyebrows still? Okay. Really hot. Oh no, you put too much rum in that. <laughs> oh, when you finish with this hob, you can turn it oh, off. Oh, please! <laughs> Two cakes in the oven, a jam done, caramelised bananas, cheesecake ready construct, one hour gone, three and a half to go. I am making our buttercream. So we're going for an American buttercream because Mega Markle is American. We have powdered sugar, we have butter, unsalted, vanilla extract has just gone in and we've got some milk. I'm just gonna stir them all together till they look buttercreamy. Now that sounds like something that I could do with little effort before I started, but it turns out it's exhausting, and I made a stupid decision not to use a mixer. And the worst thing of all is that I've probably got to do it again. I'm knackered! Oops. Oh no. Are you okay? I have sugared myself, and it's been drawn to everyone's attention. Oh, nice. Let me just get that for you. A bit lower, a bit higher, a bit higher, a bit perfect. This is weird, we're so close. The plan here is to not go for anything too fiddly and fancy because we just can't do it. So instead, rustic. We're talking about biscuit crumbs and in this case, honeycomb shards. So sugar, golden syrup, whisking bicarb. Leave to cool. Mix it in like that. Yeah. Mmm, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so good, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm putting this in the freezer, over there. I know what you're thinking. Yes, he's cute. But the reality is, he'll take you out for sushi, rooftop cocktails at the Worsley, hold your hand as you walk along the Thames, have a fondle in the Uber home, but will he call you back? No. Should I just should I, should I blitz a bunch of chip biscuits and we can look at the colours? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm building sandcastles, James! Biggest part, in, out. Clean. As is always the case with carrot cake, it generally tends to burn a bit on top before it's cooked through, if it's this big, tin foil top. I do feel like we got to the point where it's a lot of waiting. Still doing buttercream, but this time I'm using the machine. We're going to try and make these beautiful apple roses to sit on top of our carrot cake. And to do that, you have to cut your apple very, very thinly and then soak that in warm, melted butter. That will then basically soften the apples. Then we can fold them and or wrap them around each other to create roses. In order to put the weight of a cheesecake onto a soft sponge, we need support. So what I've accurately done with the teaspoon is measured our plints. Good jam, Baz. Decision here was a bold one. We're not putting cream in the middle. I know the WI would probably hate that, but there's plenty going on the outside, so it's not going in the middle. WI stands for Women's Institute, and Ben is the first person since 1982 to mention them. And he's the figurehead of this online content channel. The for sale sign goes up on Tuesday. Get it in the fridge, get it in the fridge. How's it looking, how's it looking, how's it looking? Carrot cake. Nice. Oh man! This is gonna be mental. You know the other advantage of ombre? Yeah. No straight line.
Bem. My heart literally just went. It's held. It's full. Oh, oh, oh. Mike. Don't be a tease. Bad chance of that happening, Mike. I can't see what you're doing, but you're doing a great job. Thanks, mate. So and this cheesecake is quite crumbly. Yeah. And I'm nervous. It makes me nervous. So we're just going just gonna to go with this. If it's particularly brittle now, and you try and transfer, it's going to fall apart. Do you want to slide it now? Mostly just want to run away from this video then. Well, that's not going to help, is it? Should we just try it? Should we just try it? Let's just try it. Bring it down, bring it down. Okay. Oh. Ready, 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 ready. Three, two. Oh, that, oh that was a flop at the end. This is the epitome of panic. Can you reach? Okay, you got this. Yeah, I've got finger, my finger fingers. After four hours and 15 gruelling minutes, Barry, Ben, Mike and the Love Rat begin stacking their three-tiered, three-flavoured bespoke royal wedding cake. And it looks... suboptimal. I don't know what you're expecting. You threw biscuit crumbs at it in five different colours. There is a strict no-animal policy in the sorted kitchen, except for Ben's high horse, who occasionally makes an appearance. You guys just don't understand. With little time remaining, it's toss it in glitter time. One minute, one minute. And five, four, just don't, mate, three, just stop, just stop, two, just stop, we're done. One. Dear Prince Harry and soon to be Princess Meghan, here at Sorted we put our heads together to offer up our wedding gift to you. They say love is blind and it's what's inside that really counts. So please, please remember that as we present to you our three layered, triple flavoured bespoke wedding cake. Both monarchy and relationships are built on strong foundations. Our bottom layer is a regal Victoria sponge sandwiching a royal purple plum jam. At the heart of your cake, we pay homage to your shared love of the banana with our banoffee cheesecake. And the crowning tier, a carrot top. Moist carrot, walnut and ginger cake because let's face it, we're four basic bitches and a ginger joke is the best we can do here. And by the way, Hazza, top job on the Vegas stag do. Big Willie knows how to go massive on the mezcal. We wish you both all the happiness in the world. Love, sorted. It's a good job we made too. I think, you know what, I think the ombre effect has kind of worked. Oh, 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 hey. Nearly. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's go bottom first. The huh? buttercream is good. The jam is great. Banoffee cheesecake. That is so decent. That is so decent. You alright? Yes, that piece. Yes. Oh, I thought you were trying to push it off the table. Sense, piece. <laughs> cheesecake as a wedding tear makes no sense at all. No. Until you taste it. I think that's the good bit about it, is that I still forgot that it, it yeah. was a cheesecake until I ate it. And then right. carrot top with fresh ginger. Each of them, fantastic. I couldn't be prouder of the flavours that we've put together there. It works bang on. Well, I agree. I think the textures work beautifully too. I've got such mixed feelings. Like, I'm kind of yeah. proud. Because it tastes unbelievable. I kind of hate it a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I kind of like it a little bit. I don't know anyone who's ever made a wedding cake like that in four and a half hours. No. Like, wedding cakes take days. It makes you realise how talented these people are who just focus on wedding cakes. Well, I think it's clear what we think, but why don't you comment down below your thoughts? Um, hey, here's a good idea. Why don't oh, you no. suggest oh, no. who we should step up to the oh, plate okay. in aid of next? No Let us more know. cake. Nope. To be fair, that is the best looking sandcastle I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> now, the end result might not have been exactly what we were looking for, but for the amount of effort that went into it and time, it's got to be worth a like, isn't it? Absolutely worth a like. Nothing more to say. Have a lovely week. Harry, Megan, we know you watch. Have a lovely wedding day. Goodbye. Congratulations. <laughs>